This is the Woodford Pankhurst Medium. And for Woodford, this is a genuine jump in quality and finish. They make three sizes of this stove, conveniently named the small, medium and large. They run at 4, 5 and 8 kilowatts respectively and they're all made of thick steel and this lovely, really smart, big cast iron door. The first thing I want to mention about this stove is if you've seen any of the marketing pictures, you'll have probably noticed that the handle looks a bit like a clown's foot. It just is totally wrong. But the reality is really well proportioned. It was the first thing I noticed when I looked at the stove was, oh, that looks a lot better than it does in the pictures. Okay, let's light it. All starts with a log in the middle and slowly gets smaller. A bit of kindling on there. People go very neat with kindling and that really isn't the point. The point is gaps. Your kindling can be as higgledy-piggledy as you like, as long as it's not all just a big clump of it in one place. You want it sort of in all different directions. Door just ajar and the vent fully open. All up to temperature in no time. At this point, I would just shut the air vent and away you go. This stove runs at 78.5% efficiency. And as you can see here, it definitely runs clean. This was after running for two weeks without it being cleaned, running it shut down a lot of the time, fully shut and uh, running it overnight as well. It's DEFRA approved, so you can't fully shut the air vent. It's also obviously eco-design as well. Can you remove the DEFRA kit? Yeah, you can. There is a screw underneath to allow you the full range of control. Um, I, I actually found I didn't need to. I ran this overnight very comfortably with the DEFRA kit installed uh, and it ran beautifully clean. It's quite nice being able to push it all the way across and know it's going to burn slowly but not going to like go out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you, you're, you know, things won't burn quite as cleanly uh, and um, sometimes DEFRA kits are installed in a much too extreme way and, and you've got no range of control. This stove's quite nicely balanced. This stove only has one control, which is very, very simple. Uh, both the handle and the control do get hot, so you do need the glove, but it comes with it, so that's good. And it's all quite nice and easy to use. The handle is really well engineered. There's a proper nice roller catch on it, and everything has quite a nice clunk. Um, so yeah, I was really impressed by the way this stove was put together. Um, in terms of actual control, I didn't take off the DEFRA kit. I didn't feel I needed to. It ran overnight as it was, and it ran beautifully clean. I was really happy with it, but you could remove it. The handles get hot, so it can't get full marks, but even as it is, I think it's an eight out of 10. Obviously, fully open here, and uh, shut it down. It does. You know, it's not shutting right off, but it's doing exactly what I want. And as I say, more than enough to keep it in for long periods. I forgot to mention, actually, when you open it, I haven't got any spillage issues either, which um, is always useful when you're using the stove. <laughs> I know I've already said this, but I meant it. This is a real jump in quality for Woodford. It's still a standard, ordinary stove, but it's just really well executed and performs really, really well. We test fuel economy by getting the stove up to operating temperature and then seeing how long we can maintain operating temperature with a single net of logs, kiln dried ash. Uh, this one ran for 10 to 13 hours during my testing, so it performed really well. I also ran it overnight with relative ease uh, and clean glass in the morning, as you've seen, so yeah, it's performing really well. Also, 
it's a very simple design. So maintenance, parts that need replacing, all of these things are just, they, they're not gonna need replacing very often, I wouldn't have thought, um, but it's all simple and cheap to maintain. And then you get to the cost of buying it, which is unbelievable. Woodford stoves aren't necessarily always going to be 100% when it comes to the servicing and spares for their stoves. But to be fair, the spares that you're generally going to need on a stove, on a nice simple stove like this, are things like the glass, the fire bricks and the rope. And these are all generically available on the market anyway. These stoves are also fantastically affordable. If you're looking for a wood burning stove, you like the look, want a clean stove with long burn times, or you're just working to a budget, then the Panker stoves are definitely worth considering. These stoves are mostly sold online, so perhaps start by checking out the manufacturer's page just down in the description here. Obviously, if you've got any questions, just drop me a comment and I'd be really happy to come back to you. And uh, obviously, once you've got your stove, you're gonna need some, you know, thermometers or, you know, all, there's all sorts of stuff but you can check out our shop just down here underneath the video and uh, that helps support the channel, so thank you very much.